that mean it's heating up? Yeah. Hey everybody, it's The Shape. Back to another video. Now real quick before we get into the video. Uh, I watched a video recently where Kobe got on there and talking about how he got cancer. Uh, I'm no expert on cancer, but any cancer is no good, especially for anybody that young. So, and I reckon he's doing well from what he said in the video, but my thoughts goes out to him and his family and friends. That, that can't, I mean, I can imagine going through something like that. It's got to be rough. Uh, but yeah, but I don't really need to say, even though I do a video, no matter who I do it on, we don't go and harass other channels that we feature because it, that's not the point. Point, point is to just show fakery and that's what we do. Anyway, my thoughts goes out to him. I hope him the best. I hope fast recovery and I hope a complete recovery. Let's get into the video. Objects in the rear view mirror. Now, Sam and Kobe have went to the Mizpah Hotel, supposedly the most haunted hotel in the United States of America. And every location that I've known that they've ever been to, especially hotels, every hotel they're at, they got the best evidence from there. Just like the Stanley Hotel, oh, that was the worst one. But the reason I'm, I'm saying that is because I mean, obviously, most of you guys have heard of the Stanley Hotel. I, this is the first time I ever even heard of the Miss Pa Hotel. I don't, so I don't even know how. I've watched, well, you guys know, I've watched numerous videos because I do debunking. I've never heard of the Miss Pa, and if I did, I don't remember. The Miss Pa Hotel. I hope we're saying that right. We still don't know if we're saying that right. Uh, oh, no, not her. Not that Mackie girl. Oh, ugh. Talking about wanting to be the center of attention. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, this girl. Now, this Mackie, I think her name is. Uh, she goes out with Sam and Kobe sometimes on these locations. And she's a medium or psychic that can see the spirits that we can't see. And, you know, she's like a, an antenna. That. <sighs> but that's not the part that really gets me with her. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. I don't know. She's never done anything that I can't do myself. I can say a lot of things and try to convince people that, oh, I'm really seeing a spirit that you can't see or I'm really getting a feeling that you can't feel. But this girl, she, she don't want anybody on the planet to be the center of attention except her. And I'll, I got to point it out through the video because I knew it was coming as soon as I seen her. Do you believe this uh, hotel is haunted? I do. I didn't used to believe in ghosts, but I've changed. Because of this place? Yeah. What sold me was one day somebody was taking a picture of the lobby and I was standing right next to them. <laughs> I didn't see nothing in that picture. Did you guys comment below if you saw anything? Unless Sam and Kobe just took a picture there, kind of an example. But if that was the picture, I didn't see anything. Now, coming up, I'm telling you, it did. They get all this evidence. They get a hundred pieces of evidence, but everything can be debunked, obviously. But this stuff is, no matter what they hear, I don't care if it, you hear that. That's a ghost. Not a house settling, not anybody walking above them. Uh, everything that happens is automatically ghost. It's not, let's, let's look at this with critical thinking and narrow it down until there's nothing left but ghosts. No, no, no. It's ghosts and they just throw everything else out. Is it? Whoa! Go! Oh, does it have like a little sunroof? Well, it's either a sunlight or a meteor just come through. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's uh, uh. It smells amazing up here too. It smells like, like a very clean flowery roses. It smells like a grandma. It smells like a grandma, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, shiny. <laughs> only only Kobe could, you know, say something like that. At a, you know, at a place that 
used to be like one of them old fashioned brothels. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you said this one and then these two were all one room at one point? Yes, 502, 503, 504 were all the prostitutes. King room. Breaking news Ms. Pa voted the number one haunted hotel in America. What? USA Today. What? Oh uh, yes, USA Today published that article, so it must be true that, that, you know, there's... Who in the world even votes on which is the most haunted location anyway? I really want to know that. Comment below if you know who has the vote to vote that. Do they just ask every paranormal investigator? Do they ask the fake ones? Or does it even matter to the fake ones? Apparently, doing some research, it was like rated the number one. Most you've heard that too. Yeah, I've always heard that. Sometimes it's even above the Stanley. I can't believe that. The Stanley has always, in my mind, been the most famous haunted hotel in America. But like this one beats it. Well, The Shining made the Stanley famous, and I feel like the spirits here made the Mitzpah famous. The Shining, in part, helped make the Stanley more famous. But you know, Stephen King writing the book, and then other movies have come along and been filmed there as well. But what blows my mind is the evidence that you guys and many other YouTubers supposedly caught at the Stanley Hotel. You guys are willing to throw that out saying, oh, this one's, this one's scarier, this one, because it's ghosts, yet you guys have never even been here. So you're already pre-programming your brain to say, oh man, just because they say this is the number one most haunted hotel. So, uh, and it's because the ghosts, even though we've never been here. No, you're, you're setting your own mind up to start seeing and hearing things and everything you see and hear automatically a ghost like i said earlier so who is this lady in red she was a prostitute for the miners in the town the lonely miners rooms 502 503 and 504 used to be one master suite aka her office lady in red The Walking Dead brew. One man came up and said, hey, I want you to be mine only. Like, I want you to be my lady. Only work with me. And so she agreed to that until one day. Now, the man was supposed to go out of town on a business trip, but his train got unexpectedly canceled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys have got to find better editors or something because your B-roll is horrible. And the reason I say that, when you're talking about the train, you show old-fashioned type footage of people boarding an old, you know, black and white film train, and it looks right for the period. But then you talk, the train got canceled, and then you show a big electronic board that wouldn't have even existed back then, and it makes no sense. Death. There's also like alleged stories that it was a big struggle and like a violent battle and she ran out to the hallway and got shot in the back or stabbed. So not sure how she died, but she got murdered by this dude. We've been well, 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 Kobe. Aren't you a walking revelation? We're not sure how she uh unalived, but she was, you know, murdered by a man. We know that much, but we're not sure of anything else. Maybe that's what you need is like to relax, the rocking, the meditation, all of that. It's red, so that's like triggering object for the lady in red. We'll see if we can break that down real quick, if you guys don't mind. Yeah, there'll be a secret word in this video too, by the way. Now, the color red, <laughs> the color red is a triggering color for this lady. Yet, she wears a red dress. Why would you wear something that would trigger you on a daily basis? Why would everything in your room be red if it triggers you on a daily basis? Now, what sense does that make? Just think about it logically a second. Yo. We're just sitting here and sure. like weird shit is already happening and it's like not even nighttime. Yes, you heard that right too, ladies and gentlemen. Only ghosts are allowed to come out at night. They're, you know, very seldom come out in the daytime because that ain't spooky enough. Even though you could see them better, you know, at daytime. And let's talk about energy and stuff. The sun can like solar panels gives them energy, it charges them. They, you can run a house, you can run a factory. 
from the sun. So of the daytime when the sun's out, would the ghost not have more energy? Comment below. That's just a thought. What? Dude? Wait, did I over, Already? I don't mean to eavesdrop, but did somebody say they were like feeling nervous a little bit? You said you were feeling nervous. Yeah. It feels like kind of heavy, like we were all saying. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you have any kind of feeling when you're at a haunted location? I don't even know what your name is, lady. But you do not ever, okay, ever steal the show from our medium here. And she's going to let you know it right now. You don't take the spotlight, girl. Uh-uh. You said that before we even got out of the car. Yeah. yeah, I said that when we drove by. I was, like, looking at it. Like, oh, damn. You go, girl. You don't let anybody take that spotlight. That's something you don't see every day right there, ladies and gentlemen. I feel, like, super unwelcome here. And I don't feel like you guys are. I feel like me and Mackie are. The only reason I can imagine that, like, we would not be welcome here is because of what this place was. Mm -hmm. Like a brothel, you know? And by no spotlight, psychic super lady here, she, not only people aren't going to get her spotlight. Oh, no, 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 no. Spirits aren't getting that spotlight either. No, 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 no. And she's going, I don't even have to say anything. Just watch what she says here. She really does, is not a fan of us. Oh, really? Why is she not a fan of you? Huh? This sounds so insane. I feel like I'm in competition with her. <laughs> <laughs> This sounds so, so insane that this ghost may very well be jealous of me. You know, hey, it's just a thought, guys. Okay, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, okay. I quit, guys. You know what, y'all. Guys, we are here today at the Tonopah Cemetery, and if you don't remember, we came here one year ago because the Clown Motel. Right there! Guys, if you don't remember, we pranked our friend Alex Laura. Pop a picture of him right we'll here on the screen. the video up there, okay? <laughs> Such a epic Such a prank. prank. So, so epic. epic. Prank, huh? Every video you've ever made is a prank. Some way or another. Okay, so... You have to bring me up. No one's in there. Wait, what, what the fuck? Did you just call that elevator? All right, shape, buddy. Just, just try not to have a meltdown, bud. Now, the question asked was, did you just call this elevator? Did you just call that elevator? He, you know, everybody's standing there. You would have seen the person walk over there and push the button. I'm assuming that's how ele elevators work, obviously. Why would you ask that when you're talking to somebody if they didn't go over and push the button, you would know about it. You would know it because you would have seen them walk over there and push the button. I, it oh, makes no sense. Why would you even ask that? There too, where they came up, turned on all the lights, including the little end table lights over there. Can you touch that? And no. It's swaying. It's swaying. Uh, the dress thing is swaying. Yeah. yeah, it's swaying right now. Yeah. But there's no a AC or vents around there, too. No. Now, they're talking about, you know, the vent, vents and the, you know, nothing being over there to make that thing rock back and forth. But they don't have to be over there. They can be anywhere in the room. Air moves, air pressurizes, plus y'all moving around causes vibrations. That many people standing in a room is going to cause disturbance enough to make that thing rock back and forth. But you guys automatically assume go spirit demon. No, and look at my backpack, it could not touch. I'm like literally no, two feet away. You are. Now it's not. It's so it's just, obviously it was. was like stood right <laughs> so literally yeah. like someone just touched. And then the elevator just got called. Like this is, literally hasn't even been 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't touched my neck. Why is it? Oh my God, I noticed right here, that. Right wait, wait, there's a mirror like. Here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. It almost looks like somebody like grabbed your neck like a like, strangle. Now, first off, when she was out, before she went into that room, she already had that scratch on her neck. Now y'all are twisting the narrative to fit the legend. And what I mean by that is strangle. Looks like a scratch, but you guys, oh no, it looks like, oh, like you got strangled. Because that fits better. But when you looked at it, you would say scratched. It doesn't look like somebody went up and squeezed her throat. But you guys will make that assumption based on the stories you hear about each location, and you'll twist everything to fit that narrative. Ooh. Did you didn't feel it? She doesn't like me. Not even scratches, but just like fingers. Like, like when we were standing there, I just started to feel like really shaky, like my jaw and everything just started like to feel Like you start getting like tense? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Guys, shh. 
be quiet. Do not share your personal experiences with these ghosts because you know who is going to have to suck up the spotlight. Yeah, I feel like I've become a little bit more sensitive to those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Really into the investigation. Shh, guys, be quiet. She is on to you right now. She had such a good time, and all of a sudden I was like, I fucking hate everybody in this room now. Dang, queen. It's crazy that you say that because when I was in that room, and I've never said Spirit. I've seen spirits pretty much my entire life. I felt like almost angry, and I feel like she really is like. I told you. You're doomed if you stay here. Leave now. You're all doomed. We are here on the third floor. We said there's children's spirits here. Our tour guide is saying that, like, if we want to catch children or activity, we should do it in this conference room. No, just after the whole neck thing, yeah. I, like, never settled down again. Yeah. I'm, like, sitting there, like, okay, okay, let's get out. Well, now we gotta go to a more haunted spot. Dynamite! Ooh, a more haunted spot, you say. Hmm, how do you feel about that, Colby? Dynamite! It felt like touches at one point. And this is my first time, so I was like, okay. I'm scared. Like, what was that? Yeah, I heard that no, too. That I don't know. Great. That As we're talking about this, that was really loud. I didn't hear anything. Let's listen one more time at this, uh, whatever it was. After hearing all the information, we are going to start the investigation. This is where our tour guide felt a scratch. A scratch? You say? Uh, what was that she said it was earlier? What a scratch. What did she say? Let's look one more time. It recognizes you. Like, it was like a little... What? I'd say this would be a good place to maybe see if anything is here. And then we go to the real spooky spot where Lydia got touched too. The bank falls. Oh. It was not doing that when you set it down over no. here. Wow, what amazing evidence. Can we see that one more time? You know, when Kobe was over there and then moving away from it, the REM pod went off. Wow, what evidence? Oh. Oh. All right. I'm gonna reset the temperature okay. thing. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, and it happened again. And look who's standing right near it again. You know, those things, you don't have to be right up on it to kind of aggravate the thing. This proves it. Maybe we need some space. We want to know that you're here. If you can uh, grab that antenna, we can try to talk to you. Yeah, no, there's something above us. As they're in this room, they hear something above them. Now, let's see what their excuse is, because it is mind-blowing what they say here. This is the sidewalk, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Above us. yeah. This is you're crazy. right. Oh, go ahead. Let it sink in a little bit. Yes, there's nothing above us, they said, except the sidewalk. You know, a sidewalk that people walk on. People walk on sidewalks. It's made out of concrete. It doesn't matter. People walk on it. Oh my god! Oh, the fucking colors! Oh my god! I'm sure it had nothing to do with you turning the camera away from the rim pod and somebody moving over and touching it or something, and then you turning the camera back. I'm sure Kobe had nothing to do with it. Let's watch that one more time. Every time the rim pod goes off, guess who's near the rim pod? Sam. In every part of this whole video, he's always near it. Yeah, I'm sure Sam had nothing to do with that. Did you, Sam? I don't know about you guys, but I found it like kind of hard to breathe in here. It could be the yeah. dust. Instantly, it feels thick in here. Yeah. Instantly, the, the air feels thick in this place, you know, because concrete walls and it's a really tight, closed-in space. But I'm sure that would have nothing to do with it at all. Wait, what is going on? Holy shit. I can't explain this. I've never seen her do this. What? What? I thought I just got touched in the back too. Shh. Sam, do not tell people about your personal experiences. You know who is going to steal the spotlight. There. But this is where I got touched too. If you have some real cash over there, because maybe there's some electromagnetic field down there and we don't know about it. So what if we put it on the wood and we put it on top of the money? Sure, yeah. 
Give it all, dude. 75 bucks. <laughs> 75 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Seven-ass macaronis, hey! Yeah. That could yeah. be To a minor back in those days, it's probably like $1,000. Well, actually, Kobe's on point here. Back in those days, uh, hey, $75 would have been a uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good lump sum of money. Jeez. That's a lot to a minor. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if you'd be able to move the money. I know. Feel free to take it. It's all yours if you want. You know what? You slap an EBT card down there, some food stamps. Hey, no taxes. <laughs> huh? Uh, you get some, uh, get them lights flickering, baby. Yeah. Yeah. And then we moved it, and then the nothing. And literally won't even do one thing. Oh! So a spirit walked up and touched the flashlight, making it turn on. I'm, I'm assuming that's what happened. Now, the girl that was standing beside the flashlight who says she can see spirits, why was that a surprise to her? Yeah. I was literally opening my mouth to say we will leave you some of the money if you're able to set anything off. And I was even going to say shut the door. Like, Oh, yeah. Sure you were, honey. Yeah, did the ghost take your attention again? Did it take the spotlight away from you, honey? Secret word is horny. That secret word. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow. It looks promising. I keep feeling something touch my hair. Yes, I'm 100% sure that these cobwebs have nothing to do with her hair getting pulled and hung up in it. Oh no, something's pulling her hair. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the enormous amount of cobwebs right behind your head that just so happen to be hitting your hair. Yeah. Has nothing to do with that, folks. Hello? Are you good? What's happening? I'm literally just like trying to snap to my friend and something fucking pulled my hair. Lady, you were just in earshot of the other girl that said she had her hair pulled by an invisible force and now your hair's pulled. Either the ghost walked all the way in there to you and pulled your hair as well or at the same time. Or you just want attention and that's what I think is going on here. Is that a so if something touches its stomach, it'll say something about its stomach. If something touches its hand, it'll say something about its hand. It also picks up EMFs. So if something is near it, its hands will glow. And so if I touch your belly, are you going to go, ooh? You can touch his belly or hold his hand. What is that? That something touched its stomach. Some, yep. Something touched him? It wasn't you guys sitting down. No. no. Yeah, I'm sure that you guys sitting down right next to it causing it to activate had nothing to do with it. It was a ghost. I'm sure of it. That's Wait, if that's not happening right now, what the fuck was that? I thought it could have been somebody walking up the stairs, but then it was only like four times. It See what I'm saying? If there's stairs up there, and that's where the noise is coming from, you're saying because it wasn't 10 steps, it was only 4 steps or 12 steps, whatever the stairs are. You're saying because it's only 4 steps and that's not somebody on the stairs, right? What if somebody decided to take just 4 steps? Hmm? What if somebody skipped a few steps, right? But no, it's a ghost. When it comes to you, yeah, it's a ghost. I never like get like this close, but like in my stomach is churning. It's time to be alone. What the fuck is that? Now they're all splitting up, doing their alone challenges. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the plot thickens. Thick, just like a big pile of steaming brown shit. This room's so much. I can tell what it feels like. Getting bursts of cold. Yes, me too. Calibre. What you just saw, they thought was a big deal. This thing only goes off when something walks by its line of sight or whatever. But did you catch what I just caught? Let's take a look one more time. I'll slow it down for you. You literally see the shadow activating this device. Watch, you see that? Well, then there's a debunk for you because as you saw, the shadows went across the line of sight and activated it. There's no coincidence there. It does not have to be a solid object to cause these things to go off. A reflection, a shadow, can easily set these things off. You just saw it, yet they act like, oh no, something walked by it. Yeah, we just saw your shadows. Oh my fucking God. Rose, can you turn off that flashlight if you're in my room right now? And other things that they do 
in this entire video. They'll ask a question, and a question needs a direct response for it to be relevant to, to the question. They'll ask a question, like he did just now, to the flashlight to turn off. Then they fast forward it till the flashlight does. It's not paranormal, that's the way they work. Yet he fast forwards it to make it look like it's more like a direct response. Watch. If there's anybody here, can you please turn on the flashlight? And Sam does the same thing. He asks a question, as soon as he asks a question, fast forwards it to make it like it's more directly responding to his question, which it's not. See, they fast forward it to make the response look more direct. Malicious. Oh, oh. All right guys, we're about to do the Estes method, but as you might recall, the lady in red gets triggered by red clothing. Yes, the lady in red, like I said earlier in the video, she gets triggered by, you know, the color red, even though she wears a red dress and has red all over her room. Triggers her. It's a little, a little skimpy. I'm in the Mackie, come on. <laughs> take, one for, take one for the team, guys. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. Oh my. Oh, that is... Oh. Yes, she definitely looks like a Teletubby. There's no doubt about it. She just needs that little circle thing on top of her head. Well, she most certainly does look like a Teletubby. A Teletubby. Remember those things? Uh, uh, I'm old. But yeah, it's uh, what it reminds me of. And... Skip! And the video only gets worse from there, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you. Ah, oh, man, this was a fun video to make, though. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it, even though, I don't, you know, it's not like the older, you know, a couple of years ago, YouTube videos were much shorter. You know, the longest one would be like 30 minutes long. Nowadays, they're an hour and a half, two hours, even over two hours. That's longer than a movie, a full-length movie. And you'll get 10 minutes of decent paranormal scary stuff happening the rest of it is padding that run time baby just what it is i love you guys i appreciate you each and every one of you you listen to my voice i love you and i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video of course y'all come back now you hear peace